Have you ever wondered why are organizations moving to cloud? Data is the new oil, but why? How can you get started with cloud? Which certifications do you need? All these things I'm going to discuss in my new series called Moving to Cloud. So if you are someone who wants to start your journey with cloud, stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Swati and I work as a cloud consultant with Google. Today I'm starting a new series called Moving to Cloud. It's a four episode series. In the first episode, we'll see why is data called the new oil. In the second one, we'll see why are organizations moving to cloud. In the third episode, we'll see how can you get started with cloud. And in the fourth one, that is the final one, we'll see different career paths in cloud and certifications. Let's start with the first episode today. That is why is data called the new oil? But before that, if you're new on my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I need your support to continue growing on this channel. Thank you. If you are someone working in tech industry, you must be knowing there has been huge demand in the market in last couple of years for cloud IT professionals. Cloud related job roles grew aggressively in 2022 and is expected to grow further. But why so? Why are organizations transitioning to cloud? Why are these organizations adopting these cloud native platforms? Before we talk about that, let's see why is data called the new oil? If we see statistics, an average person on internet spends around three to four hours on their smartphones. Now, whether you're scrolling through social media, whether Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or just listening to music online, or just watching a video on YouTube, or maybe just randomly scrolling on any online shopping platform. Whatever you're doing, you are generating huge amount of data on the internet. If we further talk about social media, whether you're just scrolling through Instagram or Facebook or like any picture or video or just leave a comment, everything is generating data. According to an estimate, Facebook users alone generate around four petabytes of data every day. So you can imagine how much amount of data is getting generated on the internet every day. And that is huge and also growing rapidly. Now, this has made it increasingly difficult and costly to manage this much amount of data on premises, and that has led the need to move to cloud services. But wait, why do organizations care about this much data? What do they need to infer from this data? Let's see. So organizations collect and store this huge amount of data and use it for a variety of purposes, like improving customer experience, optimizing operations, predictive analysis, or machine learning and AI-related innovation. Let's talk about each one by one. First of all, improving customer experience. So organizations, kya karti hai? they use this data, which they get from their customers' usage, and try to understand the customer's behavior, preferences, and in turn, uh, improve the customer experience. For example, uh, you all must have used online shopping platform, Amazon or Flipkart. So whenever you search for something, maybe you, you must be looking for a shirt. You didn't find a product of your taste or you left your uh, shopping journey in between. You didn't buy anything. So you must have seen it gives you few more recommendations after some time. So how does it give you recommendations? So basically, using your data itself, what were the kind of products you were liking or clicking on earlier, it gives you a few more recommendations. Or there might be few uh, other customers uh, of your similar taste uh, who, liked, uh, who liked the products which you couldn't discover. So it tries to recommend you those products as well. So in this way, using your or customer's data itself, the organizations try to improve their customer experience. Another example would be like banks or uh, these telecom uh, companies like Airtel or Jio. Um, they try, uh, how do they try to retain their customer? If they see any customer is uh, tend to leave their service, they identify those customers and then try to give them more promotional offers 
for example uh, many a times we get uh, these messages you got free 1 gb of data for a week or 5 gb of data for a month so why is it so because if you get something for, uh, for a discounted price or for free we are more tend to use that service right and in turn we are retained with that particular organization so again using data only uh, organization improve the customer experience or try to retain the customers as well another example uh, through which the organization try to improve the customer experience would be like uh, they try to understand what is the gap in the market through data analysis uh, like if I give you an example of YouTube itself in YouTube studio uh, it gives you suggestions like what were the viewers searching for on the YouTube and they didn't find the content for it so there's a gap uh, a content gap currently for these and these topics so this gives an idea to creator that they can create a uh, content related to this topic or this particular topic has a gap already so they might create more content in that direction so you got it right how using data uh, organizations are trying to improve their customer experience whether give, recommending them products according to their taste or giving them discounts or promotional offers or just uh, trying to create new product um, which is not already there in the market right operational optimization again organization make use of data to optimize their operations whether it is through predictive maintenance or inventory management or supply chain optimizations so organizations are making use of data to optimize their operations for example uh, organization uh, capture the data from sensors or other sources to monitor the performance of their equipment and this can help them track when uh, your equipment might require further maintenance so in turn it will reduce the downtime and the maintenance uh, cost and hence improve their operational uh, efficiency right so in this way uh, data is helping them again for inventory management as well uh, they use data to keep a track of products which might be more in demand for coming time or coming period of the year and uh, in uh, using that data they keep a stock of that particular product or uh, all those products which might be more in demand right for example uh, through data analysis maybe a, a retail organization identified that yoga mats or outdoor uh, going products are not much in demand during the winter season but winter coats or coffee is more in demand during that time of the year so they stock up more of the products which would be in demand for that time of the year so that the customer satisfaction is high and also uh, they reduce the waste by not stocking up the product which might not be that much in demand right so by analyzing data on supply performances and delivery times organizations try to improve their supply chain and delivery routes uh, which in turn reduce the cost and delivery time as well uh, further uh, again analyzing data on customers behavior and choices uh, these organizations try to segment customers into different groups uh, on the basis of age demographics interests and further creating or tailoring products and services according to these specific groups um, so that uh, customers can find product according to their taste and are more satisfied so in this way organizations use data to optimize their operations so one of the important term in data industry is predictive analysis but what is predictive analysis so companies make use of historical data to predict future outcomes and trends by analyzing the historical data and different patterns so some of the examples would be like retailers try to identify which product might be more in demand in future or like financial institutions uh, make use of predictive analysis to identify uh, if a particular borrower is worth giving a loan or not or uh, assessing the risk of giving a loan to a particular borrower they they identify the factors like uh, their credit history or their current income or 
uh, debt levels to predict whether uh, they should give or if there are any chances of defaulting on a loan. Uh, another example would be organizations also try to analyze which customers are more likely to stop using their services. Through predictive analysis, they identify those customers and try to give them offers or uh, certain discounts so that these customers stick with them for a longer period of time. So again, using predictive analysis, they try to retain their customers. Machine learning and AI innovation. We all are seeing huge innovation happening in AI industry with the advent of chat, GPT, Bard, etc. So organizations are making use of data to train their ML models and develop AI systems to automate tasks, create new opportunities and improve decision making. For example, uh, retail organizations uh, recommend you a lot of products according to your taste. All this happens because of AI. Another good example of AI uh, personalization is Netflix. Whenever we log into Netflix, it gives us huge recommendation of movies or web series according to our days. So all this innovation is happening because of data and which uh, using this data which trains the ML models and develop new AI systems. Like oil, data has huge potential to be transformative. Just as with the discovery of oil, it fueled industry revolution. Similarly, with the use of data, it is fueling new era of growth and innovation in digital domain. So basically, it highlights the importance of data in our digital economy. So that is why data called the new oil. Would you agree or not? Tell me in the comments. All right, so this was the first episode of series moving to cloud. In the next episode, we'll see why are organizations moving to cloud. So please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified when I upload a new video.